How's it going, everybody? I'm Carson Collins, my mother, Sarah Collins. Uh, Barb, and my mom, uh, convinced me to come out here. Um, it was tough to say no to, to crying women. <laughs> say no, <laughs> but it was just as scary saying yes. <laughs> um, as you know, I'm 22 years of age. Uh, I do have cystic fibrosis. Uh, CF does not have me. Uh, one of my most famous sayings. Um, I'd like to show you a little video of uh, all of the cystic fibrosis. <laughs> that was a little clip I made, uh, I guess, about a year ago now. Uh, I was in a troubling stage when I was younger. I took uh, all my negatives and I beat on myself because uh, I didn't want to drag everybody else down with me. So I took all my negatives and uh, turned them into positive. much of a person to talk out loud, so doing this right now is uh, a little nerve-wracking. Uh, as you can tell, we're shaking. <laughs> uh, it's not, not really a thing that I do. I, I express my feelings and everything through poetry and drawing and videos and quotes. But, uh, not going to lie, living with cystic fibrosis, uh, it's not easy. Going through school, uh, I ended up homeschooling. Uh, if somebody had just a simple sneeze, I could end up catching it, ending up in the hospital for weeks on end. Uh, so I ended up homeschooling. That's not fun. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't be a normal kid. Um, 
I mean, my parents let me do my own thing, but I also had boundaries on what I could do and what I couldn't do. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm not used to this. You're doing great. You're doing great. Yeah. Um, I had a hard time hanging out with friends because they all wanted to go out and go have fun on a park and run around, and my, my lungs, uh, they couldn't handle it at the time. I just go for a run for five minutes and then I pretty much drop to my knees gasping for air. Uh, I couldn't go uh, go to parties with friends because uh, I had I have medicine to take. Uh, I have to take all my pills in the morning. I was taking up to 60 pills a day. Uh, I have. Uh, what I like to call is uh, fart medicine. <laughs> One of my favorite pills. <laughs> I started Juice Plus when I was at 16, and uh, now 22, and it's been the uh, best decision I've ever made. I, uh, I've, my doctors are absolutely pissed at me. Um, I've completely winged myself off medical meds. I've taken my life and I've stuck it in my own hands. And uh, I've told them that I don't want any more of their negative attitudes. Uh, whenever I went to the hospital, I'd go there feeling good as I was. I thought I was doing great. And there was something always negative from them. There's nothing ever good enough. There's just one dial off for them and nothing was ever good enough. And I started getting sick and tired of them. So, uh, uh, one time I was uh, snapping and walking out of the hospital and they told me to come back and I told my mom, let's go. <laughs> and uh, I have not been back since then. I uh, took myself to the the meds and um, I, uh, I used to take inhaled meds. I, I still take them now. I used to take them four or five times a day because my breathing was so bad. Uh, I have now, I only take it now if I get down. Uh, usually during the winters is when my lungs get pretty bad. Uh, I take it when I need it. Uh, I used to have physio. I used to do my, well, I still do my flutter. Same with the face mask and the physio. Uh, work five times a day, and I don't do that anymore. And I don't need it. So I, I am my own doctor. Uh, it was just a lot of oral antibiotics. So um, doctors told me that breathing, my everyday breathing, was like breathing through a coffee straw. That's why you guys got a coffee straw. So I'd like you to try plugging your nose and breathing through the coffee straw. Started off, and my family's a huge sports family. You know, we're hardcore. <laughs> and uh, my uh, my brother did hockey, so I wanted to play hockey. And, well, it turns out I ended up being an adrenaline jump. <laughs> so I wanted to look something a little more extreme. I don't know if it's the right choice, but I like them. <laughs> uh, I turned myself to bull riding, and my father. His father used to be a pickup man for rodeo, and my uncle used to, my other uncle used to ride bulls. Uh, I rode steers for four years, and this will be my sixth year now riding bulls. And uh, not gonna lie, I, I, I feel it now. It's, uh, it's 
starting to gain up on me now. Uh, I broke my collarbone steer riding, uh, tore my meniscus in between my knee, uh, got a hairline fracture, uh, torn tendon in my hand. As bad as it sounds, it's not that bad. <laughs> it is rough, but it's, the it's, mother. It's, it's, it's something you gotta crave to something you had to crave to do, and it's something you had to work very hard to accomplish. Uh, most of the guys that I ride with have absolutely no idea I have cystic fibrosis. Not a clue. Uh, there was one guy that asked me if there was something wrong after I got off riding, because he noticed there was something different that he was not Australian. So he's, he's a good boy, right? And I told him that I had cystic fibrosis, and he had no idea what it was. So I told him about it, and I thought he was going to have a asthma attack. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't believe that uh, someone with a disease, or a lung disease, I don't like that word, I like lung sickness, uh, was riding bulls. And uh, he, was just, he was astonished. By uh, what I was doing, so uh, and to hear from him that uh, he's amazed and he's proud to see somebody with a sickness like myself riding in rodeo, and that's coming from a guy that can, <laughs> he can ride bulls really well. Um, I don't know where I'm at. I totally didn't even look at this. <laughs> I do that all the time, don't I? <laughs> Knocks the wind out of me, basically, 100%. But uh, as I go on riding year by year, I kind of train my lungs and get them more used to the more compact things that I do. I uh, like running every day. I obviously have not done this year, but uh, the winter is now over, and it's something to start. Cash is coming to see us. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, bull riding is somewhat like what we used to do for pounding. Like it shakes up his lungs, so the mucus does move. He's quite productive after he gets off the bull. And that's why the bull riders was asking why he's coughing so much thereafter. Yeah. What she said. Yeah. <laughs> do you ride horses then too to help you? Horses? No, would you oh. ride them to help you? Oh, I love with riding the, with the. Yeah. yeah. Not a bunch of horses. Scare no. Scare the hell out of me. <laughs> <laughs> the hell out of me. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, do you ride horses yeah. to help yeah. you with your breathing? How many rodeos a year do you do? As of right now, well, the last couple of years, we've probably up to 20 a year, but wow. this year, me and my cousin were planning on going from. Uh, Semi pro association and into some pro association rodeos. Uh -huh. So, not only going all of uh, our rodeos have been all over Alberta, mm -hmm. and this year we're planning on going into BC, Saskatchewan, cool. where the pro rodeos are. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and those bulls are a lot funner than that. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, if there's anything else you'd like to know, go ahead and ask. Oh, right. <laughs> I didn't do all of it. I was I thought he did. Um, I hope you will do what's right for you, like I have done for myself. Uh, putting yourself on juice plus is going to be a life-changing thing. It really will. Uh, people, like you said, uh, it looks like just vegetables, fruits, stuff like that. But it uh, honestly changed my life. Taking myself off medical meds completely. The only medical meds that I take are my enzymes. That help me digest my food. Without them, I'm getting a tube up my butt. <laughs> <laughs>
So writing the experience with Truth Plus is, uh, I might do this again if I get asked to, because uh, it's actually not as bad as I thought it would be. And it gets easier as you do it. It does. It really does. He likes making people cry. Her face running on you once, I was totally in here. Not as extreme. Thanks for sharing the jury with me. Um, there's um, some videos of uh, my blood. Is it easier to see when the lights are out?